Millions of people are braving the freezing temperatures in New York to watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade in person. They're hoping it won't be too windy for those iconic balloons to fly. 59 balloons are ready to dazzle the crowd. The tallest, guys, is 62 feet high. That's around six stories. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier and Kelty Knight are up early to bring you all of the action. They will be hosting the Thanksgiving Day Parade on CBS. Guys, good morning. Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, uh, uh, Vlad, Alex, and Bianca. It is um, a little chilly out here, let's be honest. <laughs> it is 21 degrees right now. Um, feels, feels like, like 12. 12. Yeah. Feels like 12 degrees. This could be one of the coldest Thanksgivings on record. The weather really is the big deal, and it's not because of how cold it is. It's all about the winds and whether those balloons you just mentioned will fly or not. Here's the deal. If a sustained wind gets up above 24 miles per hour, then they're going to pull the balloons down. Or if the wind gusts get up above 34, then they will pull the balloons down. It's a game time decision. The NYPD and the um, parade folks will make that decision right up and they will wait right up until the last second. As of now, we're under the threshold, so we're good. And we're hoping that the balloons will fly. And if they fly, it'll be fantastic. Yeah, and the winds definitely have been picking up this morning as yeah. we've been sitting out here. But if they do fly, we have a new addition to the parade this year. Goku, Dragon Ball Super Broly. He is new at the spiky hair. Any one of the fans of that uh, show and comic will recognize him right away. He is going to be joining us for the first time, as well as some big stars, Diana Ross, Ashley Tisdale, John Legend, uh, Rita Ora, and we have on our uh, show some of the biggest performance from Broadway. King Kong, Dear Evan Hansen, uh, we're so excited to bring that all to you in just a few minutes. We yeah. have faith that we will be seeing them. Kevin and Kelty, I know the thought bubbles that you must be having right now, and that is the West Coast is the best coast this morning, <laughs> given how cold it is here. But can you tell us about the crowds or how many people are coming out to brave this weather? You know what's funny is earlier this morning, and usually when we walk over about 5 a.m., yeah. the streets are crowded. They're packed. Uh, they were kind of empty when we came over, but now the crowds are starting to yeah. fill out. People wait a little bit longer. They put on a few extra layers, but the crowds are out here. They expect 3.5 million people to line the streets of New York. And you see their strength in numbers. Pack tight <laughs> yeah. and put on layers, and then you'll be okay. And everybody is hanging tough. Uh, Look, no matter how cold it is, you cannot dampen the spirit of Thanksgiving this parade. You just can't mess with it. <laughs> Absolutely not. And blankets seem to be the new fashion accessory of the parade this year. I'm about coats. to go put one on before we start yeah. the, the uh, route. <laughs> yeah. Ke Kevin, this is your eighth year working the parade. Yes. Kelty, it's your fourth. You guys are basically veterans of this parade. What <laughs> lessons have you learned and what are you most looking forward to this year? Well, I would say that the thing I always look forward to is when the balloons come down 6th Avenue, they come so close and it blows your mind each and every time. Every time we turn around, it's like, oh my goodness, look at these things. And so that is my favorite thing. And so that's yeah. why I think it's always important if you're coming to the parade, get out early, layer up and get a good spot so you can feel the how big the balloons are you can yes. just feel them walk right by you it is unbelievable for me it's seeing the performers the cheerleaders and the dancers and the musicians the that bands, you yeah. know these bands they fundraise all year it's a lifelong dream of them to come and you know come to the parade and perform it's such an honor and to see their dreams come true uh, that energy is infectious and, and it's so heartwarming and by the way when you look down here you see people holding signs from Alabama yeah. South Carolina Carolina, Alaska, other countries. So people have come from all over the world to fulfill a lifelong dream of being out here and enjoying the parade. A little cold ain't going to hurt nobody. No, we've got this. I don't know about Kevin, to be honest, guys. I'm fine. No, no, Kevin no, right. is Look, like a snow bunny right now. You see this jacket? You see this jacket? Yeah. And Kelty's still very fashionable, you as always. great. <laughs> You know. Listen, she's from Edmonton, north of Edmonton. <laughs> Got in this blood. is a summer day. Yeah, this is basically summer for me, yeah. guys. <laughs> guys, we're looking forward to watching you. Uh, yeah, and Dragon Ball Z is all good, Kevin. But you know what we talked about yesterday? Underdog. You're supposed to report back to me. Let me know if you see Underdog. Nobody else here knows him. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I, I can't believe people don't know Underdog. Know. Wow. Mm -mm. We do guys. now. We do. <laughs> yes. So does America. Right. Thank you very much. Underdog. You can catch the Thanksgiving Day Parade right here on CBS. Thanks, guys.